I, as a member of parliament with nine others, visited Buchenwald concentration camp. Some people believe that the reports of what happened there are exaggerated. No words could exaggerate. We saw and we know. We were able to speak freely with internees and to hear their stories. You will now see a few of the sights we saw, and much as they may shock you, do believe me when I tell you that the reality was indescribably worse than these pictures. You cannot photograph suffering, only its results. In pictures you have no smell of disease and death. Here you see no more than a fragment of the full pattern of horror. When they had died, they were either burnt in these ovens or thrown like vermin into large communal pits. General Eisenhower is now giving each victim as he dies a reverent burial. Many of the Moanas are very sick men. On the day before our visit, the deaths had been reduced to 35 during the day. Several nationalities and types, many of them intellectual and highly gifted men and women, were heard in, in unspeakable conditions which have entirely altered their appearance. In some camps, I'm told, liberated slaves turned against their guards and attacked their quarters. In some places, German civilians have been compelled to remove the bodies from more recent pits and help give them individual burial. In other cases, it's only possible to dig large trenches in which to inter the vast number of dead found in the camps. Here again, German civilians are forced to do the digging. This is Belsen, another centre of brutality, starvation and disease. You see our troops moving in. It is these men who so strongly advocate the publication of these pictures, which show only in small part what they see in reality. Remember, there are 18 of these German concentration camps. Dead and the living dead. Once they were busy, happy, healthy, as you and I. They studied, were engineers, musicians and doctors. With my own eyes, I saw scores of these living skeletons. Women SS guards are as brutalized as men under the totalitarian system. You will have read how they wielded the lash for Himmler. SS Hauptsturmführer Joseph Kramer. General Dempsey's senior medical officer referred to him as a typical German brute a sadistical, heavy-featured Nazi, quite unashamed. Under interrogation, this subhuman admitted to no uneasy conscience. This is a scene that met our men when they marched in. Similar scenes met the Americans when they entered Buchenwald. The Nazis marched away 20,000 slaves as the American army drew near shooting any who fell by the way. Evidence of atrocity does not end at Belsen and Buchenwald. The Allies will find further proof of bestiality in other graveyards of Europe's living dead. Let no one say these things were never real.